guys and welcome back to another video and another Akintosh tip. Don't forget to check the link down below for the sponsor of this video, which is PureVPN, one of the fastest VPN services with apps for almost any platform, including Android TV OS at an affordable price. So don't forget to check the link down below. And now moving to the quick tip, on the last video we moved from High Sierra to macOS Mojave, a fresh installation on our Akintosh. And some of you guys have been asking, hey Robert, how can I update from High Sierra to Mojave without a clean installation? Now my answer is always, guys, I do prefer a clean installation, so that's the only way that I do, even on Macs. And as you guys know, we have a few here at home. That being said, one of the biggest headaches on installing any new operating system, it's not the installation itself, it is afterwards installing all the apps that we need and installing or configuring all the apps that we are using, like the mail application, calendars, and so on and so forth. So that's the real headache and the most boring part. Now, to avoid all that in a new installation, there's a really cool tool, which is very well known probably for some of you guys, but some of you probably this video will help. Now, the tool is called Migration Assistant, and I've been using this since I had my first Mac, which is really useful. And today I just thought that I could share with some of you guys, and if I can help at least one of you, then it's totally worth it. Now, guys, let's take my computer, for example. I have at least two SSDs. One still has the iSierra installation stable working, and the other one has Mac OS Mojave. As you guys have seen, it's working it's right over here and as soon as I got my macOS Mojave stable which was immediately I wanted to have all my applications so that I start working and testing and so on and so forth now in this particular case what I can do is just I go to the search bar and search for migration assistant it will open the app and as I have two SSDs inside my system I can just follow up the guide and it will ask me uh, which disk I want to get my configurations and my apps from. And in this particular case, I just need to select the high Sierra that I have on my system. Now, let's assume that you don't have two SSDs, you only have one with high Sierra and you want to upgrade for Mac OS Mojave. Now, my suggestion is always to get a backup of any kind, even if it is a mechanical hard drive, a cheap hard drive, so that you can have a clone. So if anything goes wrong, you will have your safety there. But in case that you don't have, you only have one spare hard drive or SSD, then my suggestion is that you do a Time Machine backup. And for those of you that already work with Time Machine, you are aware of this. For those of you that didn't, just go to the search. It will open the utility. And after that, you just need to select which hard drive or SSD you want to use to perform the Time Machine backup. Once you have that backup, then you can install macOS Mojave. And then inside macOS Mojave, once you have everything stable, you just need to search for the Migration Assistant as we did previously. And when the time comes to select the disk, then we will select the disk that we perform the Time Machine backup, in this particular case on the High Sierra installation. And basically that is it. Once it finishes, we will have all the applications working on our system, in this particular case, Mac OS Mojave with a clean installation, with, but with everything that we had on High Sierra working on Mac OS Mojave. And that is it. I'm going to shut up. Hopefully this video is helpful to some of you guys. And if it is, don't forget that usual thumbs up. My name is Roberto George, and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.